Hey guys, I am just hopping on for a quick video. I wanted to put these three together for the first time and maybe do a little comparison so you can see uh, how different these guys are. Check out their sizes and the big differences in the artist style. So I want to say that I, first, that I absolutely love each of these babies like to the utmost and they're all very different and I think that the painting style and the skill of each artist is incredible and um, and it amazes me how different they can all be and still you know for me to still consider them to be really um, top-notch artists so from left to right most of you will recognize Thomas Nee Klaus Klaus is uh, the Atticus sculpt from Laura Lee Eagles and he is painted by the fabulous Wendy Graham from Wendy's Babies in the UK. Wendy is a master artist, uh, has been reborning for 15 years and she has um, sort of an ethereal quality to her babies I would say. So he is painted with Genesis heat set paints. All of these babies are. He is sculpted by Laura Lee Eagles, so he is not a real born. He is an artist sculpt. He has rooted hair. It is Delta Dawn rooted hair, fairly full, micro rooted, uh, one hair at a time, mono rooted, I guess. He is, I believe, 19 inches long, and he weighs, I believe, four pounds, four ounces. And he is on a cloth body. His vinyl body was separated into belly and back plates and sent to me separately. He has sort of that peaches and cream almost um, color to him. He's a light, a fair complexion baby. He has um, gray green glass German eyes. He's got all of the baby details of the mottling and the veining, the color variations from the tip to the fingers, to the knuckles. Excellent creasing. Painted eyebrows and rooted eyelashes. And he, they, all three of these babies are magnetized for a pacifier. Okay. Next we have Keanu Kale. Keanu is the newest member of the family. And I know the camera is a little shaky. I am holding it so that I can move from baby to baby. Keanu is the real born Dominic asleep kit from Denise Pratt, a bountiful baby. And he is painted by the awesome Jacqueline Cassidy, who is also a master artist and a recent prototype artist here in the U S in uh, near Chicago. He is five pounds, one ounce, I believe if I'm remembering correctly. Also Genesis heat set paints. He has painted hair. Although sometimes in pictures, it's hard for me to tell he or from across the room. It's mono painted, which means she's got about one bristle in her brush and she paints it one hair at a time. And she takes, uh, I believe, I believe she said it almost takes her uh, or it may take her longer than rooting because she also does root. You can see that. I think you can see the difference in their complexion. Okay. So. And Klaus is very light. And I would say this baby, I mean, the skin tone and the depth of skin tone, it's hard for me to have the vocabulary to describe what it is, but it plays into the realism of the art from Jacqueline. He's got the blotchiness. He's got a, a nice, healthy skin tone. Um, I guess I would say it's similar to mine. I have kind of the yellowish undertones. He is smooth. I would say Niklaus is a little bit more of a matte feel. And his mottling is there. It's, it's, mm, I guess I'd say it's more subtle, but there's more of, you know, the, I keep calling it blotchiness, but the red patches and things like that from, for the newborn skin tone. And if you want to see from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, you can see that Keanu's legs are slightly more extended, whereas Niklaus's are a little bit more bent at the knee. 
the measurements are probably pretty accurate, although I believe, Katie, you had measured your uh, Philip, who is also the Atticus sculpt, and you said he was like 18 and a half inches, uh, not 19. So, and last but certainly not least, we have Ronan Wolf. Now, Ronan is also a real born from Denise Pratt, Bountiful Baby. He is the Ronan, uh, I'm sorry, he is the real born Clyde Asleep. He is painted by Rebecca Sheary of Bundles of Joy Nursery. I can't remember exactly how long Rebecca has been reborning from for. Um, she is an artist that does it from the heart. She's got a really impressive portfolio and I think that she's a largely undiscovered gem in the community. So as with the other boys, Ronan is painted with Genesis heat set paints. He weighs four pounds, four ounces, and I believe he is 18, 18 inches. So he's a little shorter than the other guys. It's incredible what an inch difference will make. Now also though, I mean, if you look at the thickness of the limbs, you know, I said yesterday in my box opening that Keanu seemed bigger than the other babies. One thing I've noticed in the Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles is the delicateness of the fingers. Thank you, Tumo. Say hi. Hi. Also, if you look, there's not a huge size difference in the legs here between Keanu and, um, and Niklaus. But then when you come over here to Clyde, the real born Clyde, Ronan, you can see quite a difference in the size of the limbs. And I have seen this kit described as preemie. So I'm gonna say he's borderline. He fits nicely in newborn clothes, but they fit loose. Keanu fits in reborn, uh, newborn clothes, but he like this onesie here, it's a little loose on him, but I think it looks adorable, and this is a three month. So, so Ronan has rooted hair. This is Slumberland mohair. It is blonde and it is sparsely rooted. It is short. I don't ever have tangling issues. Just gets a little dry now and again, but it just smooths down very easily with a baby brush. He has also rooted eyelashes and his eyebrows, if I can get the camera to pick them up. Most impressive eyebrow painting I have ever seen. His details are awesome. He has a textured feel as well. Now let's look at the fingers. It's all very different. First, the real borns, I haven't seen them all, but I have noticed a lot of similarities between a lot of them. You have a very open, stiff hand here on Dominic and a very open, stiff hand here on Clyde. Lot of wrinkly details on this one. So it stands out a lot with the paint. So he's very realistically painted and you know, there's a, there's a lot going on. Much, much more subtle, light accenting and details on the wrinkles and things like that. More focus on the skin tone here with this guy. Now we do have an open hand, but it's a little bit more relaxed and in a posture that maybe I'll say, for lack of a better term, looks a little less awkward when laying around. Right now, looking through the camera, I'm seeing a lot of like yellows and purples, and it's not what I'm seeing with my eye. I don't know if that will be the final product for you guys. Sometimes the video is different than what I see through the viewer when it's all said and done. Now here you have a lot of details, but very, very delicate. And then you have the color variations. So a lot of big difference there. So extremely different painting styles, extremely, well, certainly I would say between the limited edition artist sculpt and the real borns, very, very different features. But I get a level of realism that is different for each one. And so I'm, I'm really happy with these boys. 
I love them all for very different reasons. Super sweet. So I'm a lucky mama, my three sons. Yes, for sure. And I hope that if my collection does grow in the future, as I suspect it may eventually, that um, I will be adding and not subtracting. And that's my goal for my collection, is to be intentional about my collection purchases and to make sure that I've got, you know, that I have planned space and, and so forth for every edition. I'm sure some of you are out there laughing at me because you know how it goes, but um, yeah, I just wanted to say that also. I did want to share this amazingness. So during my box, uh, box opening yesterday, you may have seen if you watched it, that I opened up this, uh, these two items. They came along with Keanu from Jacqueline Cassidy. And they are uh, these really beautiful lightweight pants with this blue geometric pattern, the elastic waist, and then this great bib with this sort of like a, almost like a waffle pattern material and um, a ribbon across with love and hearts and XOXO. I had asked, I had said that I wasn't quite sure if she had made it, but I did want to let you know after I stopped filming, I did find this little certificate of authenticity. Jacqueline does make items. In addition to the bracelets that she sent with the baby, she did make this creation, the Diamond Love two-piece set. Um, it is a one of a kind, so she she makes some really awesome handmade items for each of her babies as well. So if you guys have any questions about any of these babies or their artists or what their painting style is like, you know, please feel free to get in touch with me or comment below. I'll answer questions about them as best as I can. And um, other than that, I think that's all I have for you for right now. I'm happy to see these three together. This is the first time that they have all been next to each other since Keanu joined yesterday. So uh, you guys are seeing it right here with me. Definitely enjoying getting to know this one. I don't know if anyone else experiences it, but there's this, I mentioned it with uh, when Ronan joined me that there's this period of like getting to know you when a new baby joins where you're, where you're starting to like accept them as yours and you know I don't know any better way to put it I don't mean that in a weird way but you know these dolls are so connected to our hearts too because it's playing on that mommy response or that nurturing response that um for me there's just there's just a moment where you know um getting to know them and stuff. So I tried to spend a little time uh, checking him out and holding him last night and getting used to him and, and noticing all of his details. So we're, we're in that phase now and um, I think he's gonna fit right in. He's really, he's really sweet. Okay guys, thank you if you stopped by to watch. Thank you for watching and uh, appreciating these cuties with me. I look forward to any comments you have. Thank you so much for um, for your likes and your interactions with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I love talking to you guys and it's cool when you talk back. I look forward to your videos if you publish videos, to checking out your babies and hearing about your great updates. I will be back on here before too long, I'm sure, with another video. And until then, thank you, much love, and bye for now.